How many of you like to fish? Well, this little dog loves to fish. Let's draw a little dog in a boat fishing. Sketch or strong, let's have some fun telling stories. You can draw! Remember to subscribe to this channel for more sketching and strumming fun. We'll be using some white paper, a pencil, an eraser, a black marker, and something to color your drawing, like crayons or colored pencils. And remember, put something under your white paper so when you're using the black marker it doesn't go through your paper onto the table. We'll start by drawing the shapes of our character with a pencil. We'll draw very lightly because we'll come back with a black marker and trace those pencil lines. Let's start with a large circle. Across the middle of the circle, we'll draw a straight line from side to side. In the top half of that circle, we'll draw an oval. That's the dog's head with two little lines coming down, and those lines will be the dog's body. In the front of that oval is the dog's nose, which is a circle, and then two little dots for his eyes. And we'll draw a small teardrop shape for the dog's ear. And just above the bottom of the big circle, I'll draw a line from side to side, which will show where the water is. That's where the boat is sitting in the water. We finished drawing the shapes we need for this character, and if your shapes look kind of like this, you're ready to go to the next step, which is tracing the pencil lines with your black marker. And we'll start by tracing the oval shape, which is his head. And I'll put a little hair sticking up on top. I'll go to the ear shape and stop. And I'll finish tracing that pencil line for the head. And then I trace the circle for the nose and two little dots for the eyes. And then I'll go back to the ear, that teardrop shaped ear. And I'll trace that shape. I'll come down to the body and I'll put a little arm sticking out the front of his body. And his little paw is like three little bumps at the end of his arm. That's like his little hand. And then the two lines for his body down to the boat. And I'll add a little smile. This dog is really happy to be out fishing. And then I'll draw a line from the top of his head out to the back and put a bump on top of his head. It'll look like a little ball cap and some details on his nose, some lines straight up and down on the bottom half of his nose. And then I'll trace the boat shape, which is that line across the middle of the circle, the curved lines down to the water line, and then I'll put some extra lines across the boat. Then I'll put some waves under the boat to show that it's sitting on the water. I'll add a little fishing pole coming from his paw out to the front of the boat and then stick a little fishing line down to the water and put a little bobber, a little bobber sitting on the water. A couple of motion marks around the bobber. So it looks like maybe he has a bite. Maybe there's a fish on the end of his line. And there's the little dog fishing in his boat. And maybe put a little drop of water splashing up from the bobber. Now we've finished with our marker drawing, we can go back and erase the pencil lines. We'll have a nice clean black marker drawing and we can start adding color. I'll speed up through this part of the video so you get an idea of how I colored the little dog in his boat, but you might want to use some different colors. So take your time and have fun.
That was fun. A little dog fishing from his boat. This would be a great character for a story. I'll bet you could think of a story about little dog fishing from his boat. What's your story? Thanks for drawing with me. I think you'll come up with some great stories for these characters. Until next time, when we get together to sketch or strum, we'll have some fun telling stories you can draw. And remember to subscribe to this channel because there's a lot more fun ahead.